Welcome back. In the Adobe troubleshooting in part one, we have done with how to identify the error and how we can reprocess with PD87. And we have seen two methods. First, by changing the data, and second time, not changing data. Now we'll see how to reprocess the IDOC with WP19 decode. So in WE02, as first three IDOC got in the error status, that is red. Now we can see the first two are successfully posted, and third one is in the error state. So copy this IDOC number, go to T code WE19. This is called a test field for ad hoc processing. In the existing ad hoc number, enter our ad hoc number, execute. Here, if you want to see segment details, we can expand. And the toolbar, we can see the standard inbound, inbound function module, inbound file, standard open processing. So in WE19, along with the testing, we can also do the debugging. Suppose if you want to debug, you want to know the flow of the program, how an system is posting the ad hoc. So in that case, we can also do debugging from the same decode or generally this decode is used for the testing purpose. So click on segment. We can see all the data of each segment here and click on inbound function model. Here in the inbound function model, you have to select a function model. So in case there are multiple function model, so we can identify with the help of the code WE42, which you have seen in the ad hoc configuration. So let me show you one more time how to identify the inbound function model. Go to WE42. As we know, we have assigned the process code that is MATM. Select this display. So here our inbound function model is ad hoc input MATM01. The same function model we can see here in the list. So we'll select this function model. Now suppose if you want to do, uh, go into debugging mode, so what we can do, we can simply create this call in debugging mode. And here we can select the radio button, whether we want to run in foreground, whether we want to run in background mode or in foreground after error. So along with this testing, we'll I'll also see how to do debugging. Select in the foreground mode. Now remember here our ad hoc number was 13 ending with 4013. Execute. So once we select this checkbox, we can see the debugger is open. And you can monitor the flow of ad hoc, how it is flowing, what are the this this is the function model. So we can monitor everything. Okay. Now, as my main part here is troubleshooting, I'm not going into complete debugging mode. So I'm pressing F8 here. As soon as I press F8, here we can see the new IDOC that is 4016 is created by the system. Okay. The 4016 is created. Enter. Go back. Go to WE02 again. Click on refresh. Here we can see my old ad hoc is as it is 414. So it was not 413, it was 414. My old ad hoc is as it is in the error status because this ad hoc I will reprocess with the help of WE19 T code. And WE19 does not do any changes to the old ad hoc, it will simply generate a new ad hoc. Hey, click on 4016, expand this. Click on ERNUM. Here you can see the material ID is 4543. Now we'll see all three material code which are created in the receiver system. Go to MM03. This is the 541 without material group. I have proper shooting one. Check the second one that is 542. I shoot two with the material group flag. 543, which we have created through WE19 test tool, test 3, and here also you can see the material code is successfully created. So, in this way, if you want to find out the error or reprocess, so you can find out the error with the help of WE02, and we can reprocess with the 
three different method as I explained. So in this way, we done with the session that is I do troubleshooting with BD eighty seven and WE nineteen. Thank you.